Okay, 21006. Write a loop that reads positive integers from standard input and that terminates when it reads an integer that is not positive. After the loop terminates, it prints out on a line by itself and separated by spaces the sum of all the even integers read, the sum of all the odd integers read, a count of the number of even integers read, and a count of the number of odd integers read, all separated by at least one space. Declare any variables that are needed. Assume the availability of a variable stdin that references a scanner object associated with standard input. So, the, this program or this uh, loop is going to allow a user to enter a string of integers, and while so long as the number entered is not zero or negative, it will keep a count of, first it's going to check if the number is even or odd. If the number is odd, it's going to add the number to the sum of the odd, and it's also going to add one to the count of the odd. If the number, this is odd again, so it'll do the same. Add the five to the, now three, for the odd, and add one more to the odd count. And this would be even, so it's going to add four to the zero, that is the so far sum of the even, and one to the even count. This is going to add the value of three to the even sum, and another one for the even count. So in the end, and then this is going to terminate the loop. So for this example, it would be, what is it, even, the sum of even, the sum of odd, so it would be 8 space 7, wait, 8, no, this is even odd also, sorry. So this is 8, 11, space 4, space 1, 2, 3, space 1. So 11, 4, 1, 3. Uh, for this example. Now, how to do that? Let's see. We're going to have a bunch of variables to declare. First, we'll declare our number is an int. This is going to be the number that the user enters. We're going to declare int sum even int some odd, and actually we need to declare the values of these, even equals zero, odd equals zero, and count even, so this is the count of the number of digits that are entered that are even, or count odd equals zero. All right, we'll go ahead and enter our output statement that we're going to build before it, but print line sum even plus base plus sum odd plus base plus count even plus base plus count odd. All right, and we're going to build our loop here. Since we don't know how long the loop is, it's dependent on the entries, it's going to be a while loop. And it's going to be while the number is greater than zero, because it terminates when the number is zero or smaller. And we're inside here, we're going to do a bunch of stuff. But we do have a problem first, which is that the number is not declared. So we need to have a number greater than zero in order for, for us to enter the loop at all. And we'll go ahead and call it one, because that's easy. Now, what we're going to do, this is, this is going to seem backwards, maybe, but it's going to be a little trick, and maybe there's a better way to do it. This is a little trick to make this work. We don't want to get the number yet. We will do, we'll add this, but we'll add before it. Number equals stdin.nextint is how we get 
number to be whatever the user wants it to be. This is the object that allows the user to enter stuff. So this is going to be the next integer that the user enters is going to be what replace number, which is 1. The problem is if we do the if statement here, if it's if it's even or if it's odd, then if this is negative, like negative 4, it's still even, so it'll add those values. It won't kill the loop. So we want the opportunity to kill the loop to come at the end. We want the user entry to be the last part of the while loop. So we're going to enter uh, the if statements here and do some manipulating. So if number is even, so if number divided by 2 equals 0, then we're going to do two things. First, we're going to add the sum of even to add the add the number to the sum of even. And second, we're going to count even. We're going to add one to that. Uh, all right, and else, if it's not even, then it's odd. We're going to add odd, no, sum odd. We're going to add the value of number to that. And count odd. We're going to add the, add one to the count. There's one more odd. Now the problem that exists now is that we've initialized number to one. So it enters the loop. It then asks, is 1 divided by 2 0? It's not. It's odd. So it adds 1 to the sum, and it adds 1 to the count. Now you might disagree with how I do this, but the simplest way I can see to fix this is to say the sum odd to initialize it is negative 1. So it's going to go ahead and add 1 to it, but that'll just bring it to 0. And similarly, the count odd is going to be negative 1, which becomes 0. So this is going to be, hopefully, our final code. But let us compile it and run it and see. I am excited and feel like this is going to work. So we'll do two, have to do one at a time, two, four, three, five. So this should come back with two and four are the evens. That's six sum, two count, three, five, and let's throw in a one, or a two and a one, and then a zero to kill it. So what should it be? The evens are two, four, and two. So that's a sum of eight and a count of three. And the odds are 3, 5, and 1. Did I miss one? 3, 5, and 1. So that's 8, 1 is 9. Ah, whatever, let's see. 8, 9, 3, 3. That sounds right. So we're going to go with that's the right answer. So I don't think I can get it. Oh, I'll drag this and then I can get the whole thing. So the answer is all of the, oh, ah, shucks. This is, I think, the entirety of the answer, though maybe there's a curly bracket missing. 